Ezekiel 37 verse 26 I will make a covenant of peace with them it shall be an everlasting covenant and I will place them and multiply them I will set my sanctuary in their midst forevermore my tabernacle also shall be with them I will be their God and they shall be my people Welcome to Kampala Bible Revelation Church Keeping God's Word as the pillar of this ministry Preaching it, teaching it, and living it Are you ready? Hallelujah You are the light of the world That's the topic but I want to recap that God spoke to us the other Sunday that Jesus is the light of the world. Jesus is the light of the world. And the Bible tells us that he is the true light. The true light that lightens every man that cometh on earth is the true light. The Bible tells us, still in John, in him was life. And that life is the light of man. Hallelujah. Jesus is the light of the world. Then he made a statement. He said, as long as he is in the world, what a statement. As long as he is in Uganda, is the light of Uganda. I want to customize it. As long as he is in Entebbe, is the light of Entebbe. That's the statement. May God open your understanding today. Jesus said, as long as I am in the world, Irrespective of any other light, I am the light of the world. May God open your understanding today in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You are the light of the world. Matthew, there are statements I will make here that will challenge your life. Listen, Matthew, this is Jesus. And it's very challenging. Jesus said, as long as he is in the world, he is the light of the world. Now, the same Jesus is saying here in Matthew 5, 14, you are the light of the world. Has something happened? Has something happened? He said, as long as I am in the world. I am the light. Now he's saying, you, I don't know whether it is you. I don't know whether it's a pastor. I don't know whether it is a prophet. He said, you are the light of the world, a city that is set on an hill. Cannot be hidden. You are too big to be hidden. When you are light, too big to be hidden. If Jesus said, as long as it's in the world, is the light. The Bible tells us he died, rose again, is now seated at the right hand of the Father. We are the, now in church. Can you clap to the Lord? We are now in church. That's why he says, you now, there are people here that are saying, Pastor, I think it's not me. They're saying, I think it's not me. So the question is, who is the light of the world? It's good to get it. Because when we see people with a lot of money, we envy. When we see people driving big cars, I wish. When a person is in a big house, there's a house in my neighborhood, a doctor is selling it. It has nine 
bedrooms. So I asked him, why are you selling it? So good. I told him, this thing is so good. He says, he, says, he wants one billion. One billion. But it's so good. I'm just giving you an example. So good. So when they say you are the light, some people quickly turn it to such a person. Say, so I think it's the light of the world. When somebody prays so much, you say, I think it's the light of the world. Whom did Jesus mean? Whom did he mean? Hallelujah. Who is the light of the world? Amen? <laughs> John will open our understanding. Hallelujah. Who is? John 12. May God open our eyes today. May we see light today in Jesus' name. Like Jesus made a statement. He said, John 12, 36. Hallelujah. He says, while you have light, believe in the light. There are so many things to be believed. There are so many things to be believed. He says, believe in the light. It was so specific. Believe in the light, which means there's darkness to be believed. There are lies to be believed. He says, believe in the light that you may be children of light. Your status changes. Hallelujah. When you believe in light, something happens. For you may not know. When you believe in light, your status automatically changes. You become a child of light. Hallelujah. Am I loud and clear? We are saying, who is light? A believer of light. And somebody is asking, Pastor, you mean just believing? Simple as that. You believe in light. Your status changes. You become a child of light. If, if there was darkness, when you believe light, your status changes. You become a child of light. Let me just add. Same 12, 40, 46. This, this is Jesus. Amazing, it's Jesus. Who say is the light? And say you are the light. And we want to establish who is the light? What do you believe in? It's so important. You are believing so important. 46, John 12, 46 says, I am come a light unto the world. This is Jesus. I have come. Then he says that whosoever, <laughs> not only pastors, not apostles, he says, whosoever believeth on me shall not abide in darkness, meaning even if you are on the plane, even when you are in a car, when you believe, darkness flees. Amen. Clap to the Lord. He says, when you believe on him, and pastor, somebody is saying, pastor, you mean believing? These are not my words. May God open your eyes today. When I read it, I said, no, God, open my eyes. He's calling you light. And then he's saying, the confession says, I am the light of the world. So what proves you are the light of the world? Are you a believer? Hallelujah. And then what do you believe? That's the question. He says, whosoever, whether you are tall, whether you are educated, whether you are not educated, whether you have a big job, whether you have no job, whether you have no background. He says when you believe on him is Jesus a dictator? Meaning anybody believing on other things other than Jesus. Uh -huh. Something happens. He says when you believe on me shall not abide. Darkness flees. May it happen to you in Jesus' name as you believe. A believer. Am I a believer? What do 
I believe? That's the question. Hallelujah. Who is the light of the world? A believer. I'm a believer. John. We are still rotating on John. I won't delay much there. This is still Jesus. John 8. 8, 12. Is somebody being blessed? Hallelujah. Then spoke Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. I am the light of the world. He that follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of life. Jesus said in John 10, he says, I am the shepherd. My sheep know my voice. Hallelujah. And they follow me. He goes ahead of them and they follow. You follow the voice. He says, he that follows me shall not walk. What voice do you follow? There are so many voices. You cannot make it. You are a failure. You have nobody. He has said, he that follows me whom do you follow? Be careful. Because this is light. What do I believe? You must be particular. Intentional. What do I believe? Whom do I follow when you wake up? What voice should I follow? I will die. I will not live long because the doctor said this. Because the lecturer has said there are no jobs. There is no job. He has said when you follow me, you shall not walk in darkness. Darkness will become history in Jesus' name. Following. Whom am I following? Well, there are so many people who want to be followed. Many people. Big people. Big names who want to be followed. Jesus, he knew that the big people would be there. He says, follow me. Follow me. If you want to avoid darkness, follow me. And the people who follow, they follow the voice. is ahead of us. Whenever you hear the voice of Jesus, and how do you hear the voice? The word of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who is the light of the world? Is a person who is a believer who follows Jesus. I can now even sum it. Born again. Let me give one scripture. A person who is born, as long as you are born again, you are light. Hallelujah. Ephesians. Ephesians. It's, it's just in our handout. 5, 6. Is it 5, 5, 8? It, what does it say? For you are sometimes darkness. Sometimes Darkness. So darkness is real. We should not deceive ourselves. The world of darkness is real. Don't deceive yourself. Darkness has its own problems. But the Bible tells us, but now, meaning we are removed. We are now. We are once in darkness. Now we are light in the Lord. And it tells us, walk as children of light. We are commanded to walk. A person who is born again is the light. Hallelujah. Now the question has been answered. Now why are we the light of the world? Why are we the light of the world? Because now I'm the light. Why? Why? With a lot of technology, advanced technology with knowledge around. Even when COVID-19 came in this era, am I loud and clear? The modern technology could not suppress it successfully. Hallelujah. It keeps on evolving, changing with the modern technology. I'm saying why are we light? With all that we see, 
the knowledge. Why? Hallelujah. Why? The world we live in has followers, has voices. The world that we live in has needs. Hallelujah. Has challenges. But I want to bring out scriptures that will help you to help you understand better. Africa is called the third world. America is called the first world. But what happens in Uganda happens in America. When COVID-19 came, the first world they were even dying more than in Africa. It is funny. Third world. First world. We are talking, why are we right? Hallelujah. You are looking at me and like wondering where I'm going to. We are soon arriving. Hallelujah. We are soon arriving. Technology. Because there's a lot of technology and we think there is all. But why did Jesus have to say you are the light? Much as we are seeing a lot of technology, a lot of knowledge, a lot of advancements, where you see people sitting in offices, they are sitting in darkness. You see people sitting in houses, they are sitting in darkness. You see people in factory, they are in the shadow of death. They need light. For you, because you as a person who is born again, you are the light. Anybody outside that, whether he's big, whether he has money, he is in darkness. Hallelujah. Let me give you scriptures. The Bible says, these are the usual scriptures. First John 5.19. First John 5.19. I would have said it off head. What does it say? 19, he says. Oh, hallelujah. He says, and we know that we are of God and the whole world. Lieth in wickedness. That's why you are not a light for Namungona. Now, when I say Namungona, it's because I stayed there. So don't get offended. Okay? When he, he, he didn't say you are uh, uh, a light of Karelwe, because the whole world lieth in wickedness. That's why you are a light of the whole world. America needs light, Russia needs light. Linda needs light. In spite of advancement, the whole world lies in wickedness. So they need light, and it's only light that is the solution. Let me surprise you. God, you are good. Isaiah. Isaiah. Why are we light of the world? Isaiah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 42. Okay. 42. From verse 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. It says, to 7. It says, I, the Lord, have called thee in righteousness and will hold thy hand. I will keep thee and give thee for a covenant. Now listen, a covenant of what? Of people. For a light of the Gentiles. A light. This light to do what? A light. A light is not for pause. It's not for showing off. Because some people, when they are light, they think it's for showing off. He says, to open the blind eyes. Did Jesus open blind eyes? You are going to open blind eyes. Then he says, to bring out prisoners from prison. People are in offices. People are in big buildings, but they are in prison. For you, you think big houses, but the Bible is telling us they need to come out of prison and it takes light. They are coming out of prison today in Jesus' name. Because you are light. Then he says, 
to bring out the prisoners from the prison and them that sit in darkness out of prison house. May it happen to you in Jesus' name. Because he has said, light, that's what light does. Bring people out of prison. People who are sitting in prison. Open blind eyes. It takes light. Hallelujah. Why are we light? To provide solution. To provide solution. That's why he says the Gentiles shall come to their light. You think they just come? You have to. <laughs> Hallelujah. May it happen to you in Jesus' name. Listen, I hope I've not gone off. The Lord is good. Ah, God, you are good. Aye. Psalms. Psalms, Psalms, Psalms. I'm about to clear. Psalms 82. 82. Verses 5. Hallelujah. What does it say? It says, they know not. The people we think they know. The Bible says they know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in, can you, on in where? Darkness. But you are seeing them in big offices. We are seeing them with wealth. But then he says, all the foundations of the earth are out of course. It is defective. That's why you are light. Clap to the Lord. That's why you are light. He has said, all the foundation, I don't know which building, the biggest building, as long as has no light, he says, of the earth are out of course. It's defective. So what you are admiring? You are admiring something out of course. What you are admiring? You are admiring something which is defective. You are the light. That's why he wants you to speak with this understanding. I am the light. As long as I'm in my career, I am the light. Get that understanding. Things that you see, they are defective. You are the light. You are the solution. Hallelujah. May your eyes open today in Jesus' name. As I conclude, this is why I'm the light of the world. That I may be a solution. Now, this light must, must, must manifest. That's why he says, he commands us to walk in light. Some of us, but Jesus, I don't know whether Jesus was very humorous. He says, even men, when they light candles, they don't put it under. But you, are you under? Are you shining? It's a big question. Don't feel bad. Don't feel offended. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't feel offended. Amen? He said, um, this light must be manifested. You must shine. Don't call yourself just light. You must shine. You must shine. Let's read this. go back to that scripture in Matthew. As a sum up, you must say, I must shine. Hmm? Because others are hidden. He says you are too big to be hidden. Too big. He says a city that is set on and he cannot be hid. They will call you Molokole, come. Molokole, come. You are trying to hide. Don't hide. He says neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick and it gives light unto all that are in the house giving light. How can you be light and you don't give it? May it change to them just name. They need solution, and you are there. Come and pray. He said, Pastor, there's a sick person here. You are light. You are calling Pastor. You and I've seen you because you cannot be hidden. 
You are too big. They will call you. That's why they called me. My father didn't call me, but they called me. Because they knew. Hallelujah. 560. Then he says, let your light. <laughs> Who's light? So shine before men. Hallelujah. Let it shine. Then he says, that they may see the good works. There's something they must see. As a believer, as a follower, as a person who's born again, what do they see? For 30 years? For 5 years? For 10 years? They're seeing nothing? Are you sure? Are you sure? They may see good works and do what? Glorify the Father which is in heaven. So when they see, it's not you the light. You know it is funny that it's you the light glorifying God. It is those people who are in darkness who are supposed to see the light and glorify. May the story change in Jesus' name. Look at the one glorifying God. Say, Why are you glorifying God? You are the light. This Jara man stood here. They want to see the light and glorify God. Not you to see stood here. Why? Yeah. Oh, Messiah Jalina said, Sudir? Can you imagine? Sudir? He says to glorify the Father. Because of the light they have seen. What do they see? Now, I want to go back. Jesus made these statements. When he called himself light, what did he mean? Actually, he was portraying the work he was doing. He wasn't just calling himself, I'm the light. No, whenever he said, I'm the light, there was something he was showing. There's a good work he was showing. So, don't just call yourself, I am the light. What are they seeing? Oh God. May it change in Jesus' name. What are they seeing? Jesus said, I am the light. I'm just going back to the scripture. So you get to understand that Jesus was conscious. Amen. Thank you. John 14. John 14, verses 12. He says, What does it say? He says, Then, very, very, I say unto you, he that believeth on me. The works that I do shall he do also. He said when you believe on him, you shall not abide in darkness. Now when you believe in him, the works that Jesus did, he will do them. This is the good works. When you believe in him, the works that he did, you will do them. When you believe, you do works. When you believe, something happens. You begin to shine. You begin to shine. And somebody is saying, Pastor, only listen, simple as it is. When you believe, darkness gives way. When you follow Jesus, darkness gives way. Your profile changes. Just believing, you begin to shine. When you believe Jesus, the works he did, you begin to manifest. That's shining. People in prison will be set free. Believe. What do you believe? Become conscious. What do you follow? What do you believe? When you are alone, some people, when they come in church, that's when things change. Now they start believing in Jesus. But you are a light of the world, not in the church. Not here. When you are there in Karuerwe, when you are there in Congo, Light of the world. Believe in who? There are options. There are alternatives. There are many people. But when you believe in him, you will do the works he did. And people will see and glorify the Father. Clap to the Lord if you believe it. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you can affirmatively speak, I am the light of the world. I'm the light. You are ready 
to show forth. You are ready to shine. You are ready to be a solution. Hallelujah. Thank you for being a part of our service. You can join us for our midweek services Tuesday and Thursday from 6 p.m. and on Sunday for service from 8 a.m. up to 10 a.m. Second service is from 11 up to 1 p.m. For more information, go to our website on www.kampalabiblerevelationchurch.org. Furthermore, you can call the number 0772 444 174 